यहाँ पे चचा फिल की नसवा छुड़ाओ उसने बेड़ा गरक कर दिया है लेडी संजर में खमी आई इवन इमरजेंसी वीडियो बिकॉज दी इंटायर कॉल ऑफ ड्यूटी कम्युनिटी इज गोइंग ऑफ राइट नाउ के एवरीबडी इज टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस सिचुएशन एंड इट इज ब्लोइंग अप राइट नाउ आई गॉट द होमी कैप्टन कैनेडा दैट आई वांट टू टॉक अबाउट वी आल्सो हैव द होमी इमो ब्लेम ट्रू दैट वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट हियर गाइस वी आल्सो हैव द होमी नेरो शेनमा नेरो शेनमा एंड द एंटायर कम्युनिटी इज जस्ट गोइंग ऑफ राइट नाउ ब्रेड दिस इज एब्सोल्युटली वाइल्ड नाउ लेट मी एक्चुअली टॉक अबाउट दिस रियल quick okay like this video share this video let's go for two likes on the video because can't you okay Three months ago, she was promoted. She was like strong, independent, need no man, and uh, you know she was booming. And I mean, I was kind of happy, right? Like I'm happy to see like a strong, independent woman out there. But apparently, she got laid off today. She got laid off today from Activision Blizzard, despite getting promoted three months ago. Says that I'm still incredibly proud of the product we created, and I'm heartbroken to say goodbye to the CDL. So Phil Spencer out here just shooting everybody down, right? Like firing everybody. And the craziest thing, okay. Wait for this build up. I know like some of you brought this up uh, as well and the entire Call of Duty community is just going in gang gang style, right? Like everybody is talking about it. But before I get into the video, guys, laying off 80% of your entire esports division immediately after they worked uh, on a major tournament even and are still in middle of a season is insane because Activision Blizzard have let go of uh, 60 Employees out of 72 staff in the esports division. Oh, I mean, that is absolutely wild stuff. Okay, guys, we're gonna get into this video here. Check this out. Roll it. Day Activision confirmed that skill-based matchmaking has been in Call of Duty since COD 4 Modern Warfare it, 2007. Guys, we've had skill-based matchmaking since the beginning. Call of Duty. I, I gotta say, bold squash. And this is exactly what I said in the last video as well. Because let's be real, man. If we had skill-based matchmaking all the way back, and what I said in the last video was that okay, for a second, let's believe it, right? Stop the cat. Even though I don't want to, but for a second, let's believe that we had skill-based matchmaking all the way back in Call of Duty 4, 2007. Let's say we had that dog, like. That skill based matchmaking. If it wasn't, it was not as strong. In fact, we couldn't even tell there was skill based matchmaking, right? Because it didn't felt like it. And if there was skill based matchmaking, that was a good skill based matchmaking. I would love 2007 skill based matchmaking in Call of Duty games now versus this thick ass skill based matchmaking they have in Call of Duty 2022, 2023, and in the recent Call of Duty games. Like the video if you agree. But check this. We has historically considered player performance among other factors as part of our match. Matchmaking process. Our work in this area dates back as early as Call of Duty 4: Modern Warfare 2007. Skill is implemented across the video game industry, and we recognize that continuous refinement is required to deliver the best possible experience for our players. And then Brian Bright, who yeah, is Brian? Th this is where guys it goes deep. Okay, I want you guys with your with your with your goggles here. Okay, get your cap meters at hand, clench your butt cheeks, and guys, stop scratching your balls. Like you're gonna get time to do that later on. Now it's not the time. But check Brian this. Bright. Brian Bright. This is the guy who calls it out all right let me just let me just build this up a little bit who yeah. is brian bright brian bright is a 27 year game vet project director okay he's not some nerd ass q a test and dweeb ass dude off in the ether yeah. who just well maybe work for call of duty he is the project project director for call of duty infinity ward zombies extension guitar hero and i believe he peaced out right like if i'm not mistaken let's actually ver verify this okay let's verify this real quick we're gonna go around the profile i believe he's an ex dev I think he left. It does not say X right now. Maybe he's working at it, and that that's wild, right? Because if he's not an X dev, and he said that, he's gonna be an X dev, okay? Like Phil Spencer is gonna go and like ta 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 ta. Phil Spencer is gonna fire this uh, this guy as well if he has, uh, if he isn't already fired. Tony Hawk, Matt Hoffman, Kelly Slater, project director. Okay, like dude is in charge of projects because he's the director. He's like, cut. Now come back to my trailer, and if you want to be in this movie, we're gonna bang. All right. He's a project director. Okay, so he is up there, and his reply back to this was emoji emoji. What does that mean? Let me read that for you because I'm young. It means bull squash. I'm reading cryptic. Okay, I have a Egyptology degree. Bullshit, bullshit, and then people out here defend this. Like <laughs> we've always had skill base. No, we haven't. You can tell the difference, yeah. man. Do you yeah. see guys? Draw okay, let me put it this way. If we skill base, that is wild. Now to understand this, I want to show you like what narrow cinema, narrow cinema. I love the homie narrow, uh, narrow cinema. Captain Canada, uh, Lil A Thotty, always makes fun of uh, fun of my homie narrow cinema. Okay, but but listen, man. Let's, god damn it, bro. Like this is so crazy that. 
we have an actual dev with credential. This guy got street cred. He has the he has the development cred too. He has all the credentials and everybody's jumping around. Like Sega's going bozo right now. Like we have the homie Pro Reborn says that lol no way. Uh, Sega's adding everybody in the situation as well. Lol Brian, he he ha ha he he hoo hoo. And you can see like everybody's just going off right now. They're lying to us. Thanks, Brian. Your good at transparency is king. <laughs> NDA are surely in place, people. He cannot say anything directly. Interpret as you see fit and apparently there was another dev that came forward I, I saw the tweet but right now i don't have it opened up but there was like a female dev right that actually got laid off somebody asked her that talk about skill based mentoring and she said that nda she's let go right now but still she cannot talk about it because nda and i, I believe same is happening with brian bride because they got their balls to the they, they have clipped these suckers balls like let's just keep a buck 50 there's no other way around activision don't mess around they got this like they got everybody if you work for them they got you on nda dog but roll this it matchmaking was the same now as it was back then and we had skill based matchmaking call of duty bullshit con artists this is streamers laughable, and gameplay commentators or gameplay players like what a right away or face swag or, oh, yeah, or whatever a chain feeds i'm not i'm not attacking the person maybe they're really great human beings i'm just talking talking about how they get their gameplay okay these con artists use every single device to circumvent skill-based matchmaking because if they played it straight up they would take years to get gameplay because they'd be put in these yeah. high level lobbies because first of all those guys are really good at call of duty let's just keep it real packed and steel those dudes are great at call of duty so they use every little thing like reverse boosting dropped accounts oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah and then they also use a vpn and also the like the, the the tick 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 as well yeah it, it would take them weeks to get a decent gameplay right but guys on this one okay i want to dive right into it immediately okay guys hide your kids hide your wives because uh, the homie nero shanama is about to lay some smackdown right now okay and then we gonna lay Double smack the okay? Check this. They're happening over at Activision Blizzard because today, right after a big event, Activision Blizzard have let go of 60 out of the 72 staff That's in their esports division. There are just 12 employees left for <laughs> COD Esports right now. Which Man, is that is crazy. <sighs> Phil Spencer is just like washing his hands. And the funniest thing right now is that either you're for this or you're against it, right? Like I'm seeing like two sides of the coin as always, right? Like some singers are saying this is a beautiful thing some are saying that bro he's gonna run call of duty to that ground and i'm like kind of like right in the middle right like i'm trying to hear like both sides i'm like okay you talk okay you can stop right now let me let other people talk right now okay Bruh. i'm hearing both sides right now and it is absolutely extreme either you believe that this is for the good for the greater good or you believe that this is where call of duty will cr crumble this is where the cookie crumbles and the way I, I see it is that we're not gonna know the outcome till it actually happens call of duty 2024 it's it's most probably is done right like the game has been in development for three plus years and by the time november rolls around we're hearing that the next call of duty game from track it's gonna be uh, almost four years in development or it's gonna be four years in development by the time it comes out right right i'm right you're right we're all right here okay Bruh. smash the like button subscribe right now for that but the thing here is this okay call of duty 2024 almost done so if that game turns out to be bad or good I, I don't think you can blame or give credit to Microsoft, but Call of Duty 2025 and beyond that, if the games turns out to be good, sure, you can give them credit, but if it turns out to be bad, well, uh, you can uh, actually be looking, you can, uh, you can actually, uh, you know, uh, 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 blame Activision and Microsoft in that situation. So we're not going to know the outcome. Are they firing good devs? Are they firing the bad apples out there? We don't know who they're exactly firing. But on this situation, I mean, damn, they laid off 80%, bro. Phil Spencer, he went balls on this one. Like, guys, like, there's no other way to put this. This is crazy. He firing everybody left and right. What are you trying to do here, Phil? What are you trying to... Like, listen, man, give prone juice to uh, Phil Spencer because he about to fire everybody right now. Just really goes to show, like, what is even going to happen to COD Esports moving forward. Oh, man, I don't know. No, but even it's more people are losing their jobs. I mean, at first, everyone was saying it was just Microsoft. And when Microsoft started taking over, they're going to get rid of the overlap. At this point, man, they're just cleaning house. It really seems like like they laid off 1,900 employees just yet. They're not just cleaning house. They're making place in their mansion for them, bruh. bruh. The other day, then they talked about skill-based matchmaking. Now they're laying off even more people. But they're also like, hey, by the way, this new season's coming up. It's going to be pretty damn fun. Are you guys excited? 
<laughs> it's just the marketing yeah. man. Like basically, they fired everybody, and today they have revealed the new season as well. And I want to show you like the next video right after this. But the craziest thing here is this, right? Like Phil Spencer did say that once Activision and Xbox merges together, we're gonna create like a beautiful opportunity for people. We're gonna be going around like picking up sunflower seeds. We're gonna watch rainbows in the sky, and it's gonna be a beautiful thing for the devs. Okay, he uh, uh, basically said similar stuff basically in other words he was saying that it's gonna be good for the workers it's gonna be good for the devs to work at activision while it's under my regime and guess what man as soon as he it was under his regime as soon as it was under Bob, uh, Phil Spencer regime, he started firing everybody, bro. He started firing everybody. I want to know your take, whether you're Sony Pony, X-Bot, non-X-Bot, non-Sony Pony. I want to know your thoughts. Do you think this is a W? Do you think this is an L? Because I've been reading a lot of your guys' comments. Uh, the and, news uh, cycle just never I'm seems to, to see. stop with Call of Duty, which for me is good as a YouTuber. There's always plenty of things to talk about. But man, yeah. I just wish more of the news was good here in the COD franchise. Never good, with that man. being said, let's try to pivot to some more positive things that may be happening with COD here in the near future we have some leaks coming out ah! positive news come on man positive news for call of duty is not on my bingo card bruh oh, about the season two weapons that you guys may be interested to hear about we have now we ain't interested okay but, but first of all let's check it out f2000 assault rifle we have the hrm 556 assault rifle the ram 9 submachine gun the compound bow dmr as well as the sword melee weapon which are going to be the guns coming out with season okay, two w, 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 but guys let's shift gears real quick okay for this one Y'all might want to clench your butt cheeks because the homie Emo Blame Truth bought you go oh, in. Shit. Take it away, Emo Blame Truth. Let's see Thank what you, you got. And then there's this. Charlie Intel, I don't know what this guy, I think he really wants to get invited out to stuff again because he was critical of, of Call of Duty last year and they just stopped inviting him to stuff. So yeah. I think he wants to get in their good graces again and I'm not even saying that to be mean. This is what it seems like. Yeah, Charlie Intel has been really, really defending a, a lot right now, right? And uh, and last time he, he called out and guess what? They, they, <laughs> they stopped inviting him out. Oh but God. he says... The reaction to the matchmaking blog is exactly how I thought it would go. People claiming it's not being honest. It's it's factually not. We have data to prove it's not. The devs, ex-devs are saying it's not. Yeah. Too many people think too... I, I guess it's like we're at a point where it's not even debatable, right? Like if you think skill-based matchmaking don't, exi don't exist, bro, you are living under a rock. Uh, and they're very few people that think skill-based matchmaking don't exist. Because let's be real, man. Like the patterns... Proof. That's like undeniable proof, right? We talked about it. Them officially talking about it. I mean, damn. And they, but but they're bull squashing. They're bull shies, as I would like to say, and as a lot of my German homies like to say. But the fact that you got a real dev with cred, with credentials, calling this thing like bull squash, basically saying that dog, like, no man, uh uh, we didn't have skill based management and all the way back in Modern Warfare 2007. That is bull squash. I mean, tells you everything you need to know deeply about this when it's just the fact that there's so many casual players that they need to retain them and i post this screenshot from steam charts which we verified the pc player base is a large chunk actually the largest chunk of players overall not on steam specifically it's divided between steam and battle.net but i digress i posted this showing that no if this system is there to retain players it is a colossal failure you yeah. don't lose 60 70 80 80% of your player base from the peak if the system is working. I say it's doing such a great job retaining those players. Wow. The company that had devs sign NDAs to not talk about SBMM for five years. The one that shit can you <laughs> from coming to events because you were too critical of them on Twitter. Yeah. Shouldn't. Man, everybody is losing their mind in the Call of Duty community. Let's put some happy music in the background because this is just. Be fact checked. All right. Makes sense. And look. That NDA thing, you might be saying, well, that's a rumor. That's that's not true. Okay, look at this. Yeah, no, wait for it. It's verified. Yeah, this is the oh, one. Shit. This is the, this is that tweet that I was talking about earlier on this video. It was Darcy. Oh, shit. Okay, Darcy is the one that says that, yeah, man, I cannot talk about uh, SBMM because of NDA. Check Darcy this. Sandal was a dev that unfortunately got let go recently. 
This yeah. person says, since you were fired, can you finally reveal this secret about SBMM? Why, despite the feedback from MW 2019, is there no response or discussion on this topic? I'm sorry about the loss of your job, but we no. remember that about 3,000 devs created MW2, the most in the history of gaming. <laughs> Darcy says, most advanced game ever. Non-disclosure agreements don't work like that. Regardless of my employment status, I'm not going to violate my, my NDA. It, it makes sense. I mean, listen, Darcy, like, yeah, right? Like, you're doing the right thing by not violating Andy, you know? As much as you guys and I would like her and all the devs to talk about, especially the one that were let go and talk about like the 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 bull squash that's happening at Activision and talk about their experience and uh, obviously give us news about skill based management. And realistically, that's first of all, realistically, that's not happening. And B, I. I want it, surely. I want it, but I don't want it because, like, they, they have signed NDS. And if they do, bro, that they can take these people to court and they could nickel and dime. And th 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 they're going to probably steal all of their life earnings, bro. Like, if they don't have it, bro, their house would be gone. Like, all, their their career would be donezo, right? And, and this would be like a, like a self-deletion without self-deletion if that makes sense it would be joe over for them so i i'm glad that they're not talking about it because i i you know i, I human to human i value these people maybe not as devs maybe they were terrible devs maybe they were good devs listen i don't know but as human to human bro i yeah i don't want to see them suffer right like that's kind of crazy but the entire call of duty community guys listen man this is a disaster in the making and this situation is still ongoing i will keep you in the loops and recently we had this video that surfaced as well i'm not sure if you guys saw it or not if you have not check this out this is gonna open up your third eye man we had a lot of a ton of drama in this one check it out and i'll see you right there